All right, so do you know what's been happening with Kanye West in the media? I actually don't. So Kanye and Candace Owens, Candace Owens, who is a, I think she's a conservative podcast. I mean, I watch her stuff. She's with the Daily Wire. Candace is a very polarizing figure. A lot of people don't like her. A lot of people do like her. You know, she's got a very big audience. She's obviously backed by the Daily Wire, which is a massive organization. She recently appeared with Kanye West wearing tops that said White Lives Matter. And it caused a massive, massive outrage on social media. For anyone that's been paying attention on Instagram, Kanye's been kind of like letting loose and going after everyone on social media. I don't know if Kanye is completely in the wrong here. I've watched a lot of what is going on. And to be honest with you, I feel like the media is demonizing this guy. And so he is on Tucker Carlson's YouTube channel, on the Fox YouTube channel, doing, a, doing an interview regarding white lives matter and why he did it i'm just going to react to a little bit of it and then we'll talk about the blm situation and how people feel about that so was he wearing the shirt himself yeah him and candace were wearing a top that says white lives matter on it which caused massive outrage which given the context of what kanye is talking about it kind of seems silly so i'll let you guys be the judge for yourself so you just came from paris fashion week you just landed and you have a lanyard still on from it and there's a photograph on it what is that It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, It just represents life and pro-life. I know people must have gone crazy when when they heard that. You know know what that is, right? What? What he's wearing? Yeah. An ultrasound? Yeah, because he's he's against abortions. Yeah. Uh, People must have gone mad when when they heard him say that. Yeah, but he's entitled to his own yeah, opinion. Yeah, he's anyway, entitled to. So. I, I saw people getting very upset that he's pro life, but I think what he's going to say next might change so, some people's opinions. Maybe it won't. So you wear it on a badge. What what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen. I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America is abortion. So I really don't care about Wow. Do you know how crazy that number is? I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. It might be, it might not be. But if that number is real, that is insane. Now, there's obviously other issues that come with that. Why is that happening? And that's definitely something that should be explored. And and it should be something that people look into rather than jump in the gun. But if 50% of black death is from abortions, there is a serious issue there that needs to be looked into. I understand that people want the right to have an abortion and all that. But if half of the black population is aborting their children, there is a serious problem there. I don't really know what the problem is. We don't live in America. I don't know too much about what Mm. goes on in New York. York with black people but that is a problem that's not normal 50 percent half of the black people half of the black women are aborting their babies that's a crazy number I, I really felt like I think I started to really feel this need to express myself on another level when Trump was running for office and I liked him yes. and every single person in Hollywood from my ex-wife to my mother-in-law to my manager at that time to you know my my so-called friends slash handlers around me told me like if i said that i like trump that my career would be over that my life would be over uh they said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that they threaten my life they put my life they basically said that i would be killed uh for uh can i just say before he goes on how crazy that is you're basically telling people that they can't have their own thoughts and opinions. Isn't this meant to be the whole inclusivity movement and let people be who they want to be? Yet Kanye West wants to support Trump. He believes in Trump's message. He says he likes Trump. That's his own prerogative. You don't have to agree with him. You don't have to agree with his politics, but you're telling the man that his career is over, that we don't let people wear this hat. That's why I tell people all the time, this whole inclusivity thing is bullshit. It is think one way, conform to what we believe in, believe in this ideology or your a bigot, you're a Nazi, you're racist, you're homophobic, you're this, you're that. This whole inclusivity thing is nonsense. But I think he's more so doing it coming from a place of trying to prove a point to people. Yeah, I think he's done something that he knew was going to get a lot of attention. And now everybody's everyone's eyes are on Kanye. And now he can say what he wants to say. Mm. So it's definitely smart what he did. I don't think he's doing it because he hates his own people. I definitely don't. I mean, saying that white lives matter doesn't mean you hate black lives. That doesn't even make any sense. But we'll get into BLM a little bit. 
in a little bit. Just the idea that you can't say out loud that you like Trump and you definitely can't say out loud as a black person that you like Trump is insane. That you would lose your friends, that your family would turn on you, your agent would tell you you're going to be killed or you're not going to be signed, that your career is going to be over. This is further proof whether you like Trump or not, whether you like these conservative figures or not. It doesn't matter if you like them. The fact that people won't let you like them, they will tell you what to think, means that this whole inclusivity thing is bullshit. It is 100% bullshit. I've known it was bullshit since day one. And it's taken a little while to expose it. And more and more people are seeing it that way. But it's 100% nonsense. Isn't Trump like really racist? No, Trump, I don't think Trump's racist. I think that people cut up clips of him. So why do people hate him so much then? Because I don't know enough about America and their politics and stuff to pass that opinion or judgment or even try and understand why people might be annoyed. Do you know what I mean? People hate who the media tells them to hate. So they will take somebody that has politics that they might not agree with, and which is fine. You don't have to agree with punks. Uh, Trump's politics at all. That's why we have to, a two-party system. But they'll take someone and then they'll cut up things they've said and they'll clip it and they'll put that out on the news and everyone will see it. And then they think that he hates Mexicans or they'll think that he hates black people or that he hates women. The media control who we hate. Whenever the media has somebody up and they're demonizing them, I always take a step back and I'm like, okay, let me look into this person because if these people that I don't trust are telling everyone that this person is bad, I need to do my own research. Because oftentimes if if, if CNN is de demonizing someone, if MSNBC, the BBC, Sky News, any of these places are demonizing someone, they've probably just said something that the machine doesn't like. I'm not saying that Trump is a saint. I'm not even saying that I like him. I am saying that I don't believe he's a racist. And I think that a lot of people that bought into the media's fear mongering that this guy was going to bring about World War Three and whatnot. Guess what? Trump goes out of power. Ukraine's under attack. We had the Taliban come back in as soon as Biden came back in. Crime has gone up in America, apparently. When Trump was in power, did you hear of any wars that were going on? I mean, things were definitely happening, but not on the scale that they're happening right now. So again, it's, this is not an endorsement of Trump. And it's not me saying I hate Trump. It's me simply saying the media control who we hate. And people don't like hearing that, but it's true. I had a, a, someone call me last night and said, anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be greenlit. And that means that they're going to beat them up if they wear it. And I'm like, you know, OK, green light me then. <laughs> you know, you know, God builds warriors in a different way. I don't know if it's because of me being a born in Atlanta and growing up on the south side of Chicago that, you know, he made me for such a, such a time like this. It's like with David, you know, he tended to the sheep, but while he was out there, he had to fight all kinds of animals. So when it was time for Goliath to come, you thought because he was a sheep herder that he didn't have the skill set to take down Goliath. And the thing that I have is the position, I have my heart, but the number one thing is we have God on our side. And for the people, even if you don't believe in God, God believes in you. So you made reference to the White Lives Matter t-shirt, mm -hmm. which you brought out at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Why, wh why did you do that and what did it mean? You know, I, did, I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channel the energy, it just feels right. It's using a gut instinct, a connection with God. That's, what hap that's what's happening. It's God is like preparing us for the real, for the real battles. And we are, we are in a battle with the media. Like the majority of the media has a, a godless agenda and their jokes are not working. This whole like, oh yeah, he's crazy and all these things, they don't work because the media has, you know, they've also, watch travesties happen, just even specifically to me, and just watch it and act like it wasn't happening. And they stay quiet about it. And I said, I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought the idea of me wearing it was funny. And I said, Dad, what do you think it was funny? He said, just, just a black man stating the obvious. Just say one thing, like the thing that people don't seem to understand of Kanye West is that if everyone tell if everyone goes left, Kanye West is gonna go right. Mm. He doesn't listen to anyone, he always does the opposite of what everyone else is doing. And sometimes it comes across as silly, but 
Kanye is like an extremely creative person and like I'm not so much invested in his music and all of that as much as how he thinks and I think that the way they talk about him in the media is actually quite bad I think the way they put him across with the whole Pete Davidson thing to make it sound like he was crazy was was ridiculous like the man slid into his wife's DMs his wife went off of this this guy on SNL yeah. and Kanye was made to look like the crazy one because he bought a house next to his kids they tried to make it out like he was stalking uh, mm. Kim but a lot of the time they say black fathers are, are absentee fathers. They're never around. And Kanye has the money and power and resources to be next to his children. So he buys a house next to his children so he can be there. Because I'm assuming his dad wasn't there when he needed him because he was estranged. Uh, estranged. And he, get, he gets demonized for that. I, I can't get on board with that line of thinking. Mm. I find it really weird. Yeah, but I think it's because sometimes he does other stuff that doesn't work in his favour and he's just very, he can be very, very ruthless sometimes um, and I think that's where that stems from. Yeah, that, that's true, but like, I don't think people should connect the dots on these sort of things. Him doing something with his music or saying something to, you know, whoever has nothing to do with his children. It's a completely separate situation. At the end of the day, Kim went off with another guy and... Kanye was left to just sort of deal with it and then I mean, he did the most rational thing in, in his position that I, I would assume I don't know the ins and outs of everything I'm sure he's done stuff that is eccentric because that's the kind of character he is but he bought a house next to his kids and everyone called him a stalker I was like that makes no sense to me so you said um that your father said when he saw the shirt white lives matter it's great to see a black man stating the obvious so by which I think you meant that's obviously true yeah, that my favorite response, because I kept on thinking like, you know, people, they're looking for an explanation and people say, well, as an artist, you don't have to give an explanation, but as a leader, you do. Yes, I think that's right. So the answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious thing. Yeah. Why, why do you think that's so... And, and I assume the implication is, of course, all lives matter because they're lives, because God created them. Yeah. Why do you think that that would be considered controversial? Because the same people that have stripped us of our identity and labeled us as a, as a color have told us what it means to be black and the vernacular that we're supposed to have. That is a really good point, you know. I've been told by several people that I'm not black enough to speak on certain issues. There is like this whole fractured mentality within the black community and even amongst Africans that live in Africa, they think that we're not black enough to speak on certain things. I've, I've been told by people that I know that I'm not black enough to speak on certain things. There is this whole like, this like almost elitism that you have to be a certain way to be considered black. Like you can see the way that I look, I'm obviously uh, mixed. I don't really listen to too much rap music. I like heavy metal and rock and all that i don't do things that would conventionally be deemed black but even that line of thinking is stupid and i get where kanye is coming from where he a lot of the time like if you've grown up in a certain place or you grow up around certain people or if you don't have a black girlfriend or a black boyfriend or whatever it is that you're just not equipped enough to speak on the issue but you don't really ever hear white people saying that have you ever been told that you're not white enough to speak on an issue no, but I haven't ever been presented with issues that need speaking on, though. There's, there's issues in the black community that need speaking about. We all know that. But a lot of people think that you have to look a certain way, be a certain way, talk a certain way to be able to speak on the issues. I've been told that because I'm mixed, I can't speak on certain black issues. And it is just a way of fracturing black people. And I think people buy into that too much. And I think this whole BLM thing as well has really shown that there are, there are major problems within our community that need to be addressed. And I think the fact that people are outraged over Kanye wearing a top that says White Lives Matter really shows how small-minded people are because the real issue here is BLM. We all agree that Black Lives Matter is in the sentiment. All of us understand that our lives matter because we're human beings. My life matters just as much as your one does. But the organization is a scam organization. They're supposed to be a non-profit organization and yet millions and millions of dollars went missing we found that the people that are at the top of it were buying homes in like very rich areas, mansions. They were paying themselves. It's not a non-profit organization if you're profiting from it. Areas that needed the help of the BLM organization did not receive the help. We've seen many cases of this. And yet people are more outraged at the fact that Kanye West wore a top that is stating the obvious than the organization that claimed 
to want to help black people helped nobody. All it did was line the pockets of the people that were in charge of the organization. It baffles me how Kanye West is all over Instagram right now. He's all over. You know, he's had his account restricted as well. Everyone's talking about how crazy he is. Everyone's talking about how outrageous it is that he wore a White Lives Matter top. And very, very few people are talking about how outrageous it is that BLM scammed its own people. See, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, I'll show you some I'll show you some headlines that got absolutely no attention. Is this something that you just found out recently? No, I've, al- I've always it? known. I've always been against the Black Lives Matter organization. And most of my black friends are against it because we know what's up. We all understand the sentiment. Everyone agrees that Black Lives Matter. Everyone that is not some violent racist agrees that black people's lives matter. And there are definitely issues that need to be addressed. But we can also recognize that the organization that uses that name to prey on people's feelings are doing exactly that. They're not out here helping black people. They're not out here putting the money where it needs to be they're not out here building infrastructures for black communities they're just praying on people that need help and they're preying on people that have deep underlying anger towards a system that might have betrayed them at a a point in time and then using that to line their own pockets this article from uh, the 16th of march says the blm activist has been charged with fraud claims she wasn't paid a dime from her own charity but secretly paid herself 170 thousand pounds a thousand dollars a year right while raiding its coffers video shows are claiming gun criminals are victims that's a scam artist she paid herself 170 thousand dollars then there's this one black lives matter is imploding in scandal this is from the new york post a lesson about causes deemed beyond question boston blm activist and husband indicted on federal fraud charges black lives matter leader accused of stealing 10 million from organization blm spent at least 12 million on luxury properties in la toronto tax filing sharon osborne wants refund after donating 900 000 to scam black lives matter it's ridiculous the fact that people are upset at kanye west really shows us what the problem is and it goes back to what i'm saying the media tells us who to hate the media creates a villain and people run with it i don't know how many times this has to happen before people stop buying into it and yet every time i have conversations with people the conversation is always in the wrong place oh did you see what kanye west did with the white lives matter top kanye west wore that white lives matter top because he knows how small-minded people are that they were going to pay more attention to that and now look how many views these videos are getting yeah now people are listening to what he has to say and he's completely right the blm organization is a scam organization and nobody should be donating to it we all understand that black lives matter and we understand there's issues in our community that need addressing we can also point out when something within our community is poison and that's what that organization is the media ridiculed me for getting the house next door to kim to see my children and they even said that i was stalking her and her new boyfriend because i bought the house next door to see my children they have people that are around them at all times telling them what to be afraid of It's like not what to do or say specifically, it's what to be afraid of. And if you have a person that isn't afraid of them, you know, like a Russell Brand or Candace Owens, it's not that we have to agree with this, but they're not afraid. They're not afraid to state what their opinion is. Yes. Everyone, no one is God and everyone has an opinion. I 100% agree. Mm. That's exactly it. We don't have to agree with people. We can just let them talk and scrutinize their opinions if you need to. This whole need to cancel people. Now they want to cancel Kanye West. They want to make him out to be like he's crazy. It's BS in my opinion. The fact that people's attention is on Kanye and the White Lives Matter top and not on how many people were scammed out of their money. Millions upon millions upon millions. Where's the outrage? There's none because like I said, the media control the outrage. They tell you where to be angry. They tell you where to hate and they tell you who to hate. And people keep falling for it. That's why when Andrew Tate blew up, when Joe Rogan was blowing up, when all of these people that they hate, Jordan Peterson, Russell Brand, any of them, Anytime I hear them talking smack about someone, I'm always like, okay, I need to read into this person first Mm. because they are the villains. It's not these people. It's the other way around. It's not Kanye. It's Black Lives Matter, the organization. Someone takes me out of context. That's all I really got to say about that. This situation is quite disappointing to see where people's attentions are. But I'm I'm really not surprised. I wish more people would speak up about it. I think people know what the deal is. Are people still having this opinion on him even after watching this interview as well? 
I think a lot of people haven't watched it. I mean, 3.2 million is a lot of people, but mm. it's small in comparison to how many people should be watching it. Mm. And when you look at the hate he's getting on social media for going after certain people, and he's been banned because he's made a couple comments about a group of people that we can't really say on here, our YouTube channel will be taken down. And he's been completely restricted on social media. Freedom of speech seems to be an illusion in the West these days. It really does. Because mm -hmm. as far as I can see, he didn't say anything too crazy. Or maybe I missed something, but yeah. that's all I really got to say. I about feel that. like freedom of speech does doesn't really exist anymore no it doesn't not well not unless we have people pushing back yeah you can't just yield control to this crazy woke mob that jumps on everything and listens to big corporations even though they think they're the rebels it makes no sense